Good morning, my little bubblicious people. How are you doing out there in Never Neverland again? Okay, guys, uh, a quick little Easter workout for you as you can't really go too far, so you can stay at home and hopefully get a little bit fitter. So I'm gonna take you through some abdominal exercises today. We'll be working through the core, through the legs, through the glutes, and some nice stretches as well. All right, team, so we're gonna start seated with those feet together, knees together, but you've got to bend your knees. Some people always leave them like this, I don't know why, but we leave them bent. We're going to take the hands forward. If we can roll back to a bit of a C curve, bending your elbows as you take them behind you. Now you're going to breathe out here on the return journey, big breath in through the nose. So it's a breath out through your mouth, breathe in through your nose, and again, core back here. And only come as far back as you feel it in those lower abdominals, you don't want to feel it in the spine. So if this is starting to hurt you a little bit in your lower back, I don't want you to roll so far back. Now just give me four more. I keep forgetting it's by job to count, I'm not very good at that. Bring it back, two more here. Good, and then we're gonna take it on a bit of an angle here. So I want you to pull back, just pull it through, come and sit up, big breath out, bring it back, do it again, let's pull through, back to centre. Beautiful. Now just four more here. It's four and three, two and one. Now to finish this sequence, we've just got eight pullbacks here. Come forward and again, pull it back. So you should be feeling this a little bit in the lower abdominals. So you could do this anywhere, sitting in front of Netflix if you fancy just doing a bit of abdominal work. This is the one that's going to work for you. Beautiful. Just give me two more. And we're going to have a nice little stretch for the spine. So from here, sitting nice and tall, just take those legs into a little bit of a straddle stretch. Now, option, you can soften your knees as you stretch forward through your spine, particularly if you're tight through your hamstrings here, because this is about stretching out through your spine. So we're going to take those hands forward, drop your chin to chest, and just walk those hands away from you. Stretch out through the spine, and then we slowly Come on back and again, we breathe out into the stretch. So take the big breath in, big breath out chin to chest. Let's take it forward. Stretch it through and pull it back. So just give me one more of those, sitting nice and tall, chin to chest, and let's take it all the way away. Stretch it out and pull it back through. Okay, side line position. Bringing those legs together, come around into your sideline position. Now, sideline position, you don't want to roll back. You don't want to roll back and you'll be able to see your pelvis here. You need to keep your hips stacked so you could balance something on that top hip. Wouldn't go anywhere. Elbow, supporting shoulder, lifting up through the rib cage, or you come down here on a long arm, which actually kind of modifies it a bit for your hip as well. So, if you want to do that, of course you can. Now, we're going to flex the feet, we're going to lift the top foot, then you're going to lift your bottom foot from here, lift the top foot higher. Option, you can pop that bottom foot down if you find it a little bit too much, but remember by lifting that foot, you're engaging the core a little bit more here. Keep it going, and again, up we go. Four more here, four, three, two, and one. Now bring that top leg to hip height and invite your bottom leg to come and say hello. Here we go. Bring it up and again. Up we go. Good. Keep it going. This is going to work that inner thigh. Up we go. And just four more. It's four, three, two, one. Good. Bring it back to central and move to the other side. We're going to work those abdominals again by softening the knees. Now this time pull back, shoot the arms up. So pull back, shoot the arms up. Good. Push it up, pull back, and push it up. Again, push it up. Good. And again, four more. Push it away, and three. Pull back, push away, and the last time. Beautiful. From here, we're going to set ourselves up on the other side. So just bringing yourself through to the other side, setting yourself up again, making sure those hips are nice and square here. We are just going to lift that top leg, followed by the bottom. Top leg goes higher. 
Working into that outer thigh now. And again. Good. Keep it going. Beautiful. You're going to give me four more. Four. Three. Two. And one. Now top leg, hip height. Bottom leg, I want to stay heavy. And again. Good. Keep it going. Four more, four, three, two, and one. Where we are going to sit it up again, this time for a little bit of a stretch. So we're going to take it to a straddle stretch again, drawing the arms up in line with the shoulders and relaxing slightly, taking the tension out of your shoulders there. We're going to rotate and reach for the little toe of the opposite foot while trying to sit nice and tall on those sit bones. So you roll it through, remember that breath. Here we go, breathe out now. Pull it that big breath in for four and three. Just two more, two and one. Beautiful, from there, bring those legs together, come back to sideline position, something a bit different. So. We know we've all been told to stay inside, stay inside our own bubbles, and some of you might be missing those long cycle rides. So I'm going to teach you how we can cycle at home here. So hips are stacked. We're going to trot the, trot the, bring the top leg up, bend the knee. You're going to push forward and cycle behind you with the point of your toe. So bring it through, point behind, and pull it through. And again, bring it through. Good, keep it going for four. And three, two, and one. Now when the leg comes behind this time, leave it and then just reverse it. So you're just reversing, cycling backwards, and again, bring it forward. Good, keep it going. Four more here. It's four and three, two, and one. Beautiful. So just bring it. Together. Now from here, we're just going to take the top hand up, we're going to lift and tap onto your ankle. And again, lift, take it down, lift, down we go. Good, keep it going. Just give me four, three, two, and one. Now we're going to take that leg behind, just park it up. We're going to work the inner thigh of the bottom leg here by just lifting it up with a flex foot and then you're going to point and lift up with a point. So we flex, we point, flex, point. Good, really getting into those inner thigh muscles. All part, working the old core muscles, it all comes into it. Good, so just four more sets. Four, three, two, and one. One, let's sit it up, do a little bit of rotational stretching now. So we're just going to draw your leg across the body, give it a nice hug. You'll feel a nice stretch through your glutes as you really huddle onto that knee there. Then just take your hand forward, take a big breath in, big breath out, rotate and look over your shoulder, take your hand out and just look what's going on behind you. And then we're going to bring the head back first, followed by the hand and unravel yourself. So we're going to take it through to the other side with our little bicycle move here. So let's just set ourselves up on the other side. Remember, down on that long arm or you are up with me here. Okay, from here we're going to take the knee forward. We're going to take it behind pointing the toes as we pull it through to our one-legged cycle. And again, keep it through. A bit rainy out there today as well, so this is going to stop you getting wet. Pull it through for four. And three, two. Now remember this time we leave the leg behind and we reverse the cycle. Good. Keep it going. Pull it through. Good. For four, three, two, and one. Arm up. Touch that ankle on again. Lift it up here. Keep it going. Keep breathing through. Four more. Four. Three. Two. And one. Now we're going to take that leg behind. We're going to lift the leg with a flex and a point. Where are my manners? I forgot 
to introduce myself, it is Helen from Moy Central Upper Hutt. I do apologise there again, far too excited, wishing you all a happy, safe Easter. Four, three, two, and one. Beautiful. Come on back, roll onto your tummies. Now, from here, we're going to come up to a little bit of a plank. If you want to, you can just bring yourself up, staying on your, well, just off your knees. So not going to be any kneecaps, not too high. You're going to make sure you're still in your abdominals. Well, we're going to take it up to a plank. Now, the best way to do a plank, and lots of people don't like to do that, but they're so good for working the core muscles, and it strengthens your back. So if you can, you come up with me. I promise I'm not going to keep you there too long. You're going to curl your toes under. You're going to imagine someone's come along and just literally pulled you towards the back wall by your heel. So zip up your abs and pull yourself up. Now, you don't want to be looking like you're a loaf of bread rising too high. You don't want to follow through that spine. You want to keep yourself in a nice long plank position. So I could come along and pop a pole on your back and it would stay there. From here, we're just going to knee drop and this is going to count you down. So drop your knee. It's 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And then gently come down. So you're going to aim for about 20 seconds initially, bumping it up to 30, and then just challenge yourself with that one. Okay, team, we're just going to sit back on our hikes with a little bit of a rest here. So bring yourself back to child's pose, either with knees together or towards the outside of the mat there. And we sink back, just dropping the arms down, the forearms down, if that's comfortable. If it's not, just up on the palms there. From here, we're going to slide onto our tummies and we're going to do some glute work here. So I'm going to get you to just slide forward. Come on down, get nice and comfortable. So the top half of your body could be in Fiji, but you're not allowed to be. So you've got to stay here with me. All right, but it's nicely relaxed. That's what I mean here. We're going to pull your abs in. And then I want you to kind of grip your thighs. That's going to lift your knees. Then lift all your legs. Roll the heels towards each other. And then bring those heels together. So you're clasping your heels together. Toes are rotated outwards. And you should feel this in your glutes. Really good for waking up your glutes here. So squeeze those heels together. Again, a great one if you're watching telly and you want to do what exercise you can do. Lazy man's exercising. Keep it going. Beautiful. Six. Five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful. A little bit of a back stretch. So I want you to take your hands forward. You can get little fingers down towards the mat there or the carpet if you haven't got your mat. Now we're going to lift opposite arm, opposite leg here, stretching out through the spine, taking it down and taking it through to the other side. So just lifting those opposites, down we go. Now remember that breathing. Take it down and again, let's lift it up. Just give me four more. It's four and three, two and one. Where we're going to take it to the full swing. Now with the full Pilates swing, you pull your abs in again, you lift up both arms, you lift up both legs, and you move all four limbs together. So keep it going. Nice long body line here. Swimming pools are closed. I said that in the Wild Olympics yesterday when we popped that out for you guys. Still closed. Keep it going. But five, four, three, two, Good. Come on back. We need to stretch back in child's pose. So any time you're lying there on your tummies, we need to come back here. So any work that's done in prone, so anything on your tummies there, come back, stretch out your spine. That's super important. Then we're going to pop up onto all fours. Bringing those knees directly under your hips and your wrists under your shoulders, we're going to drop the crown of the head and the tailbone here. So take a deep breath in, drop the crown of the head and the tailbone, and then release, hollowing through the spine. So do that again. And we release. Good. Two more here. And release. And 
gets to a point of wonder. Beautiful. From here, just come and sit forward, taking one leg through. We're going to have a really nice stretch here for the side of the body. You're going to slide your fingers away. Now, you need to see your hand beyond your shoulder. You don't want to be here. You're not going to appreciate the full extent of the stretch. So take the fingers where you can see them. Shoot the other hand to the ceiling. Drop onto your forearm. And then come forward with that hand to spread it out. And we taper. So we do that again. Big breath in. Big breath. you give me two more of those. Let's take it over. Pull it up and one more. Good. Now we're going to come to the other side. I want you to bring your arms like so and then just take it through to the other side. The reason we do that is so we work the core a little bit more. But you can set yourself up so we're in the correct position. So just bringing your foot through in front of your back thigh sliding your hand away so you can see those fingers beyond the shoulders sit sit up right to the ceiling with those fingertips and then we drop through and we take it up and do that again big breath in big breath out pull it up and just give me two more let's take it up take it over Pull it up and give me one more of those. And roll it up. Now from there, just take those legs forward. Just crossing those legs over or taking them long, however you feel comfortable. We're going to take the arms up here. We're going to come overhead and then just trace a line for the just through the opposite arm there. Round forward through the spine. Come on back. Big breath in. Big breath out. And round forward. We'll do that again. Take it up. Trace that line. And round forward. Up. Over. Just two more. Let's go round forward. And give me. Then take those hands behind you. Just lift your heart here, arching through the spine. And from there, team, we'll call it a day. Can I wish you all a happy and safe Easter? And we'll catch up again soon. Great to see you all. See you soon. Bye.